Namaste beautiful yogis. Today I have a skincare video for you um, and I will just uh, go over the products that I have been using continuously for a long time. Um, I'll share some new products that I'm using. Uh, some of them are really cool and basically kind of cover cruelty free, um, natural uh, skincare. Now, there is two approaches to skincare. One is a little more uh, abrasive, harsh approach where you do a lot of exfoliation and peels and all of that in order to stimulate the uh, skin to produce collagen. And the other approach is to just put hydration and nutrition back into the skin and leave the exfoliation to your skin to uh, because your skin will exfoliate anyways. So, what if found out that works better for me is the second approach, just kind of more a gentle approach to my skin, just putting nutrition and hydration in and not worrying so much about cleaning, cleansing, uh, exfoliation and so forth. Uh, usually exfoliation leads for me to oily skin, acne or wrinkles or at least more visible wrinkles. So I don't do this anymore. I used to um, kind of exfoliate and cleanse more and um, use soaps or um, such things more. Now I try to do the minimal cleansing and leave the skin just, uh, if I could clean it just with water I would do that but because of my um, eye makeup I have to use some makeup remover other than this. I don't use soap on my body or on my skin. I use soap just under my uh, on my armpits and that's it. I don't use soap, I use water. And the soap that I use, I shared it in some of my pregnancy videos right now, I'm using either castor or black African soap. Both of them are equally good. So let's get into the skincare. Oh, and uh, my uh, approach to skincare lately, besides lately in the past, let's say four years, or could be five. Uh, my approach to skincare has been not only kind and um, kind of... Um, being gentle to my skin but also uh, it has been um, just um, using a lot of concentrated ingredients that are proven to work on the skin. Uh, the, uh, how I got that idea was many years ago I read that the Korean skincare um, industry is at this point better than the French uh, industry with uh, their discoveries within ingredients and how to uh, create products but also they had something called layering products where they would just layer eight or ten products and just different products so I read a long time ago I never uh, got a Korean skincare line or anything like this I just realized that's not a bad idea to put some good ingredients into your skin if they're actually going to do the work and uh, since then I have discovered a few serums and I'll just use a few serums at a time under my uh, sunblock and that has worked better than anything else before so that's why I'm sharing it because it works for me and uh, by the way if you try anything and it works for you please let me know <laughs> I always wonder if those things work for other people and uh, so my favorite serums everybody that has uh, I had spoken after they've used uh, those products because of my recommendation says they do work but I'm sure there is exceptions so we'll start with my favorite skincare line I've kind of separated I have everything here I've kind of separated things in skincare lines um, and uh, and they're all medium to low price range although they work amazingly they're not your typical uh, super luxurious uh, uh, items. I have tried luxurious items, didn't see any any specific results from them, so they're not here on the table. Anything that I was, it was okay, it didn't cause any breakouts or problems, but it didn't do anything. If it was expensive, I don't have it here because might as well not even share things that are okay and they're expensive when I have things that are great and they are very well priced. Alright, so my favorite skincare line, if you've watched any of my previous skincare videos, you know it's Lumine. Now, I know that they don't test on animals, they're not like, strictly speaking, a vegan skincare line, uh, but they do not test on animals, they do not uh, use products that are third-party 
um, they don't use products that are uh, or ingredients, single ingredients that are used uh, tested on animals. They don't use third party to test on animals, and they don't sell in China. So they are they to me uh, they satisfy my need for a cruelty free skincare line, um, even though they're not strictly. Um, they just don't choose to call themselves vegan, but it seems like they actually don't do anything uh, that is harmful to um, animals. So, it is a Finnish skincare line. Oh, and one thing I want to mention, it, it seems like this line is really expensive in Europe, for whatever reason. So, don't, don't feel like you have to get it at any cost. Uh, I usually pay, I think, under 20 for each of their products and under $20 for each bottle. Uh, somewhere around 10, sometimes even under 10. So I wouldn't pay $50 or something like this uh, per bottle, although they're great. It just, it seems like it's a little bit excessive uh, if, if you can't find it at an okay price. And I hope this doesn't bother you, but we have gardeners today. So my favorite um, serum by them is uh, from the uh, line time freeze instant lift I don't know if it will pick up because it's bright but I will link below my favorite products so this one is another uh, bright now visible tone correction repair another serum it's also really good they're very light so basically what I do is I wash my face with water in the morning and I just put three serums on after that, generally I wait a little bit to put a, a sunblock on and that's it. And at night, similar procedure except for with a night cream. Um, this can be used as a night cream or just on your face. It's a Lumine 5 minute SOS cream. Um, sensitive touch. It's just for sensitive skin or very dry skin. It, it's based on, sh uh, uh, on shea butter. So it's really hydrating, but it doesn't sit oily on your skin. So this one is uh, very good. I use it for my body uh, as well. And this one is a, to a total comfort mask, sensitive touch. I also use it as a night cream. I read that it can be used that way and I started using it that way and it's great. Use one to uh, one or two times a week, apply generously to clean skin, leave for 10 minutes. I don't use it as a mask. I use it as an overnight night cream and it works great to hydrate the skin so th that's it for now i'm just sharing four lumen products some of them i finished and i tossed the bottles so uh, that's why i'm just sharing the ones that i currently have the um if you are to get one of them is the time freeze uh, instant lift i will um share that because i have purchased this 20 times i can uh, go through a bottle of this uh, in a month because I use it generously and it soaks into your skin. So if you're to use one of them, just use this. And it's not a, it's not a cream. It's a serum. It is based on Arctic berries. Everything uh, in their line is based on Arctic berries. Uh, so um, it has antioxidants and such in it. Uh, you will just use it as nutrition for your skin. Don't expect it to be your cream to hydrate the skin and so forth just use it as nutrition underneath your skincare and it does seem to plump up little lines and such uh, so that's um that's from the lumine products i have had this for a long long time it's almost empty so this has lasted me a long time because i had a night cream by them and now i'm using this um now i'm gonna speak about another really um, really good uh, natural skincare line some of these bottles are empty and I kept them for this video uh, that is Andalou um, Andalou they have amazing products I I like Lumine better Andalou is California company and they're very um, they're organic mostly they're based on again uh, plant extract they're vegan uh, non-gmo gluten free and so forth so they're great i really like them they're made in california and um, i use them they're 
I would not replace Lumin for them, but I do use them. I have an absolute serum by them for sensitive skin. Uh, a thousand roses. It smells amazing, very lightweight, same thing. I use it with my other serums. If I put the other two Lumin serums in this one. And it seems to do wonders and it doesn't uh, leave my uh, skin greasy. Um, they have a night cream luminous night cream with purple carrot and vitamin C extract so anything you get from their lines I do prefer um, they have a few different lines they have a sensitive that's the sensitive line um, they have anti-aging and a few other lines um, that's the brightening line um, and they have an age defying line I think the sensitive line might be my favorite not sure let me know if you have tried them all and you prefer one over the other uh, the night cream is great it's very moisturizing it's just a basic night cream that smells amazing um, it, it is in a jar to me it smells amazing um, kind of fruity uh, and it's it's it feels almost like whipped cream or something something like this that's the consistency and I have a mask which is fruit enzyme mask it kind of brightens your skin it's from the age defying um, line it's an um, enzyme fruit enzyme mask with bioactive aid berry they are they have stem cell um, extracts in them uh, so they're supposed to uh, beautify your skin, improve collagen production and so forth. I would say they're a good skincare line. They won't, I don't think they will do anything miraculous to your skin, but they're really clean. Uh, they're a conscious company and they have great products. So the enzyme mask, it's clear, it's like a gel. And if you leave it long, in a little too long, it will make your skin red because it has enzymes in it, and it would it will exfoliate your skin. I like it. Everything uh, from their company smells good to me, but maybe not to everybody. Uh, now those are their SPF. They're they're my favorite SPF uh, cream company. I haven't found anything I prefer over them. This one, unfortunately, it's done. There is a little bit left in there, but I have to probably cut the bottle and get it. It's just zinc oxide um, SPF 30 sheer tint. So actually, this is the first ever tinted moisturizer I have ever liked. It's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. It has the rabbit, vegan and cruelty-free, etc. Um, I love it and it has no coverage maybe uh, maybe it gives you a little bit of a sheer glow or sheer tint i'm not wearing it at the moment but it doesn't it doesn't uh, it's a beauty balm a balm it's, so it's a bb cream it doesn't give you any coverage it doesn't it doesn't mask your skin you still look you, you can still see your own skin color so it just kind of maybe mattifies your skin or maybe um, uh, evens out your complexion I'm not sure I haven't noticed anything within color other than yeah it is a tinted moisturizer but it doesn't it's not a heavy tinted one um, as I said I don't like tinted moisturizers and this one was amazing so I'll still repurchase this one this one is also done I don't know how to get the bottom out of it but I kept it just for the video uh, it's from the age defying uh, line and this is from the brightening line um, it is 30 SPF 30 it was also very good all right now uh, the most exciting new product I have discovered and I don't know why I never knew about it before I sure have I have used uh, this next company for years and years. They were one of the first organic companies. I remember buying their products 15 years ago and more uh, at Wild Oats or Whole Foods. Nowadays, um, long time ago I was buying their products, so they must have been around for a long time. All right, so I just bought this on a whim and didn't know what I'm buying. Come to find out it's the best mask ever so it is a very small mask it's a little uh, more expensive than the other two companies it's my shell 
and this one is the incredible pumpkin peel I'll link it because it's um basically it's a uh, enzyme I will say what it says on the package enzymatically rich therapy for deep stimulation and detoxification so basically it um, it, it acts like as a peel and the enzyme peel to your skin so it uh, gets off so that's the one thing that is the opposite of hydration it's actually exfoliation it gets off the top layer of your um, uh, scrubs off the top layer of your skin and it, it kind of removes blackheads even uh, and you can it says to leave it for one to three minutes only I after I purchased it I started reading the reviews and everybody was saying it is very comparable to pumpkin peel mask that they have gotten professionally at a salon. Uh, it is very strong and it stings your skin. I, I want to say that I leave it on for a long time because I just always forget about it. It doesn't smell very good. It smells almost chemically or it, it just uh, uh, prepare yourself for not that good of a smell but the ingredients are extremely clean. It's just uh, uh, enzyme from pumpkin and uh, fortify, rejuvenate and smooth while clearing, clearing po uh, pores and aiding detoxification. So basically it cleans out your pores and it brightens your complexion, it, uh, it sloughs off the top layer of that skin and you can do it just once a week or less. It is a very small quantity. Uh, just uh, 1.2 uh, ounces but you're using kind of a small quantity for it and apparently if it's uh, <laughs> similar to a um, professional mask it's probably uh, amazing I've never gotten a professional uh, pumpkin peel but I do notice that when I use it uh, it does remove blackheads uh, from my nose and possibly from the other places where we have kind of uh, uh, pores that need to be cleaned so it's amazing and uh, it kind of brightens your complexion so uh, that's a total find and I would love to always have it around uh, just once a week even less uh, oh and by the way don't don't place it anywhere around your lips because I made that mistake and it totally uh, uh, cracked my I got a crack in the corner of my lip and it's just don't do it <laughs> uh, and don't place it in the corner anywhere your skin is sensitive just stay away from there this one is another from their mask it's hydrating cactus mask not as amazing as the pumpkin peel but it's a good hydrating mask for it and that you can alternate the peel with so you can do it the next day for deep hydration this one is luxurious i'll read what it says luxuriously softens soothes and maintains hydrating moisture, eases discomfort and signs of redness while shielding against environmental stress and pollution. Leave it on for 20 minutes, vegetarian friendly, recyclable, gluten free, cruelty free. Um, yeah, they are protein. -free. So the next line that I will mention is something I've mentioned before and it's still a favorite of mine. It is Dirty Works, English company, uh, that's their um, micellar, I think that's how you pronounce it, cleansing water, it's just a cleansing water for makeup, uh, that's their night cream, really great, I alternate it with the Lumine and to me it's just as good, uh, they are uh, specifically uh, a vegan company and they never test on animals they actually say on the back uh, on the back of each product says tested on people not animals which is awesome it's not as natural as the other lines I mentioned previously because it does have fragrance added to it kind of the packaging is amazing it's gorgeous kind of old-school packaging back in the day type of packaging 80s or no that's 50s probably pack type of packaging it's and it smells kind of like those creams from back in the day kind of like a fresh fragrance so if you're uh, sensitive to fragrance this one smells I like it and it doesn't bother me and, and it's natural uh, pretty natural the ingredients and it works very well but it's not you know your organic ultra natural product 
but it's natural enough <laughs> let's say that um uh, i love their night cream uh the the cleansing water also does a good job and the miracle cream i use it for daytime or nighttime also really good 18 one miracle cream it's also good um i have other products from all these companies that just kind of sit in my uh drawer and i don't use so that's why i'm not sharing them with you i'm just sharing the ones that i keep reaching for and i know that for whatever reason they're just amazing um now uh, one more company i have three serums by this company and i'm just going to share one of them with you see for yourself by nature's gate because it's a vitamin c serum which also is good for exfoliation and for rejuvenation of your skin and um, helps refine skin tone and texture, provides skin protection and antioxidant benefits, etc. Yes, um, the only reason why I'm not bringing the other two products is because I just started using them. And because all three of them, I have used them through the years a lot. That's another old school organic company. It's because some of the first ingredients are copolymers, so plastic, or dimeticons, silicones. Although they are non-toxic, if you check with the environmental protection website, they have no toxicity to you. I generally don't use silicones on my skin because um, in my, in my impression is that they block absorption of other products and they just kind of create coating on your skin and I prefer to let my skin breathe. But the reason why I'm sharing this with you is Nonetheless, it's an organic company, it's clean company and so forth, natural company, vegan company, with vegan logo and so forth. Uh, the reason why I'm including it is because it actually is, I, I can tell it has a lot of vitamin C in it, um, by the way it works on my skin. So it is a concentrated vitamin C serum, again use it as a serum, it works good regardless of the silicones. Uh, now, I wanted, oh, from the essential oils, I just wanted to quickly mention one of them. I do use a few, right now I'm pregnant, so I'm using as few as possible because some of them can stimulate uterine contractions. And um, But what I'm using religiously is lavender for my body. I mix it with an uh, oil carrier and I use it on my legs and lower back and it really relaxes my entire body. Um, so um, when you're getting an essential oil, make sure that you're getting therapeutic grade. Buy one essential oil rather than 10 that are just essential oils but they're not therapeutic grade. Always buy therapeutic grade organic essential oils because those are the ones that will have healing effect on your body and on your emotions. The essential oils that are kind of sold in most stores, they're not therapeutic great, they smell great, but they don't have the same therapeutic properties. This one does wonders for my legs, um, back and so forth. With pregnancy, uh, a few weeks ago I was getting kind of leg um, cramps and just uh, sensi sensitivity in my legs uh, in, in my lower back. This one was working like you wouldn't believe it. So that's why I'm including it, but it's therapeutic great. Now, I, I did a little experiment and I did, instead of uh, using, um, instead of using this, which is a shea butter and uh, peptide and all kinds of other extracts based night cream, I decided to use just shea butter, pure shea butter instead of the Shea Butter Dirty Works Cream. I did an experiment just to see if um, if maybe going the clean route, Shea Butter with apricot oil actually, just those two ingredients, is better for my skin. And at first I thought, oh my god, this is better. It's just very hydrating, it's kind of dry, it doesn't make my skin oily, etc. So I felt like, wow, this is as good as, you know, a product created by a company. But a few days later, maybe a week later, I started noticing that my 
like lines are coming in stronger I can see more lines around my eyes or even around my lips uh, and what I noticed is my pores were looking bigger and just my skin overall was not looking as good so I just wanted to share that with you I still use it for my body but if you are to be using a, a product I, be, I do believe that the, the serums that are by those more environmental or conscientious companies are better than the pure oils. Most oils have low absorbency, except for a few oils. One of them is uh, rosehip oil. You can never go wrong with pure rosehip oil. Uh, I've been using this for my body mostly, but you can use it for your face and it's great. And another thing you can use for uh, taking your makeup off is almond oil. So I think I covered everything I wanted to cover today without being overwhelming you. Those are a lot of products. As I mentioned, some of them are empty. Some of them I kind of bought ahead of time stuff because uh, I'm anticipating not being able uh, to buy a lot of things for myself after a birth so I kind of bought a few things ahead of time I always buy Lumine time phrase way ahead of time I always have two or three or more on me and I just share sometimes with friends or with my mom or if I travel I just always bring a Lumine product with me <laughs> to give to someone just because I love them um, so yeah that's a lot of products but um, all of the ones that I shared are amazing so whichever ones you use you're not gonna regret it I feel and also you can layer your serums and your night cream so basically four products in the morning four products at night and it's not too much you can layer your serums in the morning same serums at night and this whole thing lasts you a long time and the prices of all these products are kind of under $20 I think for most of them so they're pretty fairly priced I think that the enzyme peel might be the priciest of uh, the products but it's also so worth it so that's why I pretty much wanted to do this video because this is the newest best discovery so far and yeah let me know if you know any products that work wonders and they're cruelty free natural or low toxicity let me know i generally check most things that i buy on skindeep.com there you can uh, check certain products or ingredients and it tells you their toxicity level now uh, keep in mind that they uh, they rate fragrance in the ingredients list as a very high toxicity and sometimes in some of these products fragrance is derived from essential oils they still rate it really high uh, highly toxic so uh, overall you still have to read the ingredients and check on skin dip and if say the toxicity level of a product is like say 3 1 being the lowest and 3 is pretty low but it has something in it and you can check why is it three and maybe maybe there is or a four uh, maybe there is a fragrance that is really really toxic uh, and when you read on the company label it says it's derived from essential oils and stuff to me I know people react even to those fragrances to me that's okay acceptable I love essential oils, they don't bother me, I have no reaction to them. So some just basically check things on skin deep and then read the ingredients and check individual ingredients and that way you can kind of know what you're buying. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope it wasn't overwhelming <laughs> uh, and uh, because I've been saving everything and been thinking to do this video for like two months now <laughs> so a lot of things are collected down here but all of the products I love them I really love them I believe in them I purchase everything myself none of this has been sent to me uh, oh well, except for uh, this was a gift in the yogi surprise box again not from the company it was just included in the box but all of those I have purchased myself so 
no vested interest, I'm not reviewing anyone's products, which I'm okay doing if uh, there is a company that has um, an amazing product, I would review it. But those in particular, I have purchased myself and I would repurchase all of them. All right, thanks for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below your favorite products because obviously I love skin uh, stuff and I, I would, I'm willing to try new things. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.